I wanted to start off by saying I apologize to everyone because I haven't been available for the past couple days. I haven't put up a video. Um, I've been really, really sick. Uh, I, I pretty much slept from Thursday night until I had to go back to work on Sunday. And I went to work for like half day and then I slept again pretty much until, you know, uh, other than work, I just slept the entire time up until probably yesterday. And yesterday I had a lot of other things I had to take care of, so I wasn't able to get another video out. So today I'm uh, going to be doing a PSA, going over all the stuff that I missed while I was uh, out sick essentially. And uh, yeah, I apologize for not being able to put out any videos for that, but I'm feeling a hell of a lot better. I still kind of got like that congestion in the back of my ears that I'm feeling, but uh, overall I'm uh, pretty much I'm like 95% better. So uh, let's go ahead and start out. I'm over here on the Reddit, guys. We have a whole bunch of new information. I'm not going to go in depth on all of it. If I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, I haven't been checking my tweets. I've been going on Facebook every once in a while. So if I did miss anything here, please let me know. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. First one is we're getting the 777 celebration. The global side is now hitting 777 days. Unfortunately, I'm a few days behind that. So I'm not going to be able to celebrate on the day, but it's okay. This essentially is allowing us to get a whole bunch of cool rewards. From 820 to 899, which is about 14 days, we have 77 stamina total once only to obtain various support items. Uh, spend 777 stamina total uh, once to obtain 7 large orbs of each type, 77 medium orbs of each type, and 777 small orbs of each type. So, if anyone is concerned with not being able to get your LR Goku's uh, potential all the way unlocked with just events alone with the new celebrations that are coming out i kind of felt like they were going to do this but uh with the, with the new celebrations coming out you'll definitely be able to get him there as long as you run those tech events every single day uh, and make sure you're smart about which ones you go after don't just go after all small at one time divvy it up because remember when you go after one on the global side if you go over the middle like for medium orbs you can get a drop of small or large and if for any means or so, so whatever happens so let's say you get small orbs on every single drop or large orbs on every single medium drop, you're probably going to have enough large orbs where you're going to want to focus on the small, or at least close enough where you're going to want to focus on the small and try your luck there. But um, just be smart with when you're doing your orb grinding. Make sure you get to the, the, the actual orbs that you need. Um, it's in-game. Check the news if you need to know the exact amount. I don't have that up. And you have also get additional rewards. 49 stones, 3,330 small orbs, which I'm thinking... Is, it says it's, it's green. I don't know if it says technique or not. Um, 1,500 medium orbs and 150 large orbs. I'm assuming these are all potential. So we should definitely be getting more than enough. Uh, new characters. We have the 777 day Hercule reward. So if you guys don't know, you get a Hercule upon your 777th login day. Um, he's really not that great of a unit overall, but he is only exclusive to those who have logged in for 777 days. He is not summonable causes low damage to the enemy recover uh, but he recovers um 7, hp which is cool uh not again not a great card at all uh but he's just cool to have for collective purposes and kind of like being a show off so i can't wait till i get him um and then you also have lr hercule which is going to be released on the same day because it's part of the 777 so lr hercule will be coming out so if you guys haven't already done so save up those tech hercules uh the thing is they cost a lot of money it's like a million uh zenny per uh, belt in order to doken him and I think you I, I forgot the exact amount that you need it But you need it like a hundred and something million zenny to get him doke to the first form doken And then you need like 250 million zenny in order to get him fully doken at SA 20 with uh, all dupe pads unlocked So personally, I wouldn't even do that I'd probably just get him to LR just because I can get him to LR outside of that I probably won't do anything else with him. I won't get him to super attack 20 uh, more just for collective purposes New missions, 20 stones a day missions return, so that's the um, the celebration, 200 million celebration is back, we, we hit the uh, max, so when we, we, that should be starting tonight, that's, or not on tonight, I believe on 8-19, so maybe in two days that should be starting, um, so essentially it's just the same missions we had earlier in the month, where you go ahead, you do your grinds, you do whatever it tells you to do, it's like, I think it's like training, training with an item, training with, in a location, uh, hitting a certain amount of stamina, running event up to 10 times. Each one rewards you like two different dragon stones, so that way you can get additional dragon stones for summoning. Um, apparently, we're getting this thing called Hercules Fortune Summon Ticket. Uh, I don't think this was on the JP side. I don't remember it being on the JP side, so that's going to be new. It's probably going to be part of the 777 celebration, so that's cool. Uh, Champion Belt Awakening Medal, as I just described a little bit earlier. And we have new rebirths for the Intelligence Super Saiyan God Rebirth and the Physical Super Saiyan God Rebirth. Um, that's on the global side. So I'm all these rebirths and everything right now. This is just a PSA. I will not be going over um, the in-depth information. I'll be saving that for a Dokkan in-depth, like I like I typically do. Uh, if you aren't aware, I should be having a new intro for my Dokkan in-depth coming. 
Um, I'm just waiting on the Drox for, to get me out that um, the, the new introductions. I'm having two done, one for uh, Dokkan in depth, and then another for um, the other section that I'm doing, which is, uh, I was going to do um, like the Daily Awakening, but I decided to call it the Daily Grind. Just because a couple of people are like, oh, the Daily Awakening sounds like it's a, a, a spiritual ritual or a, uh, a religious thing, you know, and I was just like, okay, I kind of get it, I don't, you know, I don't want to, I want it to be exactly in line with the game, and I don't want anyone else to think that it's going to be specific to religion. On top of that, um, Awakening is, I don't want to say it's specific to Dokkan Battle, because I know a lot of other gacha games that have Awakenings as well, but you grind out any game, and if I want to be doing other, you know, uh, events in the future, different games in the future. I don't want it to be specific to Awakening because you can grind out on any game. Uh, but thank you guys. I appreciate all the feedback you guys gave me in the video I posted a couple weeks ago. I know I didn't do a response video to that. Um, I will probably do one soon and I'll go and go over all the introductions and everything just to have a small little video going over that. But thank you guys. I appreciate the feedback. I did read it. I know I answered a lot of you. So thank you for that feedback. Um, the JP side, we're also getting new Kaioshin missions. I'm not going to go over it, but essentially this is for stages four or five, or areas four, five, and six. You can go in, you can go over to the Reddit, and you can check it out. Uh, new Kaioshin mission details is the title of it, and it was released seven hours ago. It's currently uh, August 17th, so it was the released on August 17th. Go ahead, check that out if you want a full in-depth description of all the new um, uh, missions that are available for you guys to get gems. Uh, the next one is going to be, you can now use the Intelligence Otherworld Goku for the LR Goku event. If you guys are lacking characters, go ahead, use them if you grinded him up when that event came out. Uh, so, go ahead, take care of that. We have the JP data download that came out 13 hours ago for the official information for LR uh, Trunks, which I'm going to be doing a, definitely doing a video on that. That's freaking sick. I really like that. That's all. I love the new Trunks, uh, but I'm not going to be going over that in depth here. We also have the... Uh, the Awakenings, Dokken Awakenings for the um, Technique Super Saiyan Trunks GT and the Agility Super Saiyan Trunks Xenoverse. They're both actually pretty damn cool. Um, I think I have one up right here. That this is just a tech one. So they're actually both become viable, not viable, but decent units to run. They both have good uh, good stats, good leader abilities and stuff like that. So um, again, that's going to be saved for a different video. I'm probably going to talk about those two when I do the LR Trunks video. So stay tuned. I know I'm late to the party on that, but again, guys, I was really sick, so I apologize for that. Um, this is just the trunks information um, for the his uh, LR form, all the different LR forms. So I'll be going over that later. Uh, that's the art for the trunks. And then LR Hercule is going to be released on 819, which I said a little bit earlier. Um, all LRs are in the LR trunks banner, so make sure if you guys if you guys are looking to get LR trunks, is he is a featured unit. It looks like um, all the other LRs are currently available there. Um, I'm not going to be going for another JP side. I wasted, or not wasted, I used all my stones trying to go for the Goji Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Omega. And if you guys haven't seen those videos, I didn't get the Omega, but I got the Gogeta. Um, I haven't actually been grinding that out, though, for the medals, because I've been grinding LR Goku. Um, that's just all there is to it. I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to grind him. I probably won't grind him until it's half stamina for him, honestly. I got I got one of the new meta cards, so I'm happy about that. Uh, with the LR campaign, the best time to trunks, uh, farm trunks, uh, farm the trunks medals, two time drop rate. So you're going to need 10 of each medals to Doken Awaken your LR trunks. So I'm going to go over that again in the LR trunks video. I did just want to say you're going to have to have um, 10 of each of these medals. So you're going to need Mecha Frieza, King Cold, Lord Chilled, and then the two trunks. I think one's trunks universe and one's regular trunks. So you're going to need 10 of each. And now is the perfect time to do it because there is no cap on the team costs that go up against those missions. It's only five of each because there's double drop rate. So it's very easy. I recommend in preparation global players and even JP players who are playing now because you have you don't have the cost restriction. Grind them out while you can, even if you don't pull trunks, because if you happen to pull him one day in the future, then you're going to be able to at least Doken Awaken him when you get him to LR form. But that's it, guys. Stay tuned. I'll be doing um, I'll probably be doing the LR trunks video tomorrow. Um, I have to go to work, so I can't do anything else right now. But I'll be doing that LR trunks video at some point tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll be doing all the other stuff about the LR Goku event, the new remission rewards. I'll be going over everything in depth that I just talked about here in individual videos. But thank you for your patience while I've been out sick. I appreciate you guys sticking around with me. I appreciate the, um, all the private messages and the Facebook messages uh, asking how I've been doing. I'm, I'm doing a lot better, so thank you. But thank you guys. I'll catch you guys later. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day.